The right to safe, clean, and affordable water. It's not something everyone living in our state has, but some Michigan lawmakers are hoping to change that. From infrastructure to PFOS to water shutoffs, safe water has been hard to find in parts of our state, especially here in mid-Michigan with the Flint water crisis. As TV5's James Felton shows us, if passed, the proposed Human Right to Water Act is set to give everyone a source of clean water. I think this is really an important step uh, to address a, a significant concern in our state. So I'm excited about it. A SCOTA resident, Anthony Spaniola, talking about proposed state legislation called the Human Right to Water Act. Spaniola, co-chair of the Great Lakes PFAS Action Network, is glad to see this bill being considered by lawmakers in Lansing. Because there are people all across the state who are suffering from both water that they can't afford, water that's not clean. The measure calls for all state departments to employ all reasonable means in an effort to make sure everyone has the right to safe, clean, affordable, and accessible water. State Senator Kristen McDonald Rivet is a co-sponsor of the bill. There's been a lot that's happened over the last uh, 10 years that uh, really make it clear that we have to put that and enshrine that in statute that state departments need to make that a priority. McDonald Rivet tells us the legislation is intended to address barriers to safe, clean water. Some of them have to do with old pipes. Some of them have to do with uh, economic fragility uh, among families and in communities. All of those things have to be considered, which is why the bill targets all state departments. McDonald Rivet says she will work hard to make this proposed measure law. These are the things that uh, I ran on, that my Democratic colleagues ran on. Uh, Senator Cherry in Flint is also a uh, co-sponsor of this bill. It is really important. Similar bills have failed in previous legislatures. But now that Democrats control all three branches of state government, Spaniola thinks it will be different this time around. Clean, affordable drinking water has, 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 was actually a campaign promise of a lot of candidates for the state legislature. And so, again, I'm optimistic. I think that I think there's a good chance that this moves. James Felton, WNEM, TV5. The Human Right to Water Act, also known as Senate Bill 25, was introduced in the Michigan Senate last month and referred to the Committee on Housing and Human Services.